is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. The awesome. I know quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF. Let's make it a great one. It's also a Friday the 13th. Let's make it a great one. How's that, huh? Oh, baby, watch out. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is a whole mastery, and the only way to, way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship, is the, uh, therefore, is about action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up five, NASDAQ down eight, S&P's up four and a half, gold contract up $25.90 at $17.77 an ounce. We got silver up 55 cents, twenty-three dollars sixty-seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck twenty-three, sixty-seven dollars eighty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. This is quite a bit of notes and bonds, man. You get the ten-year up fifteen ticks, a half a point, one thirty-three thirty. The thirty-year up a point and a half at one sixty-four fifteen. And King Dollar. King Dollar is down five hundred and fifteen ticks, trading out at ninety-two five twenty. Euro one seventeen. Yen at 109.60, and the British pound at 138 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. It was called, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We're going to have another high out here. We're going to have another light volume day out here. Uh, bottom line is that you've got a higher price. You're, uh, the spies are up 44 cents right now, 445.50. Uh, and uh, bottom line, you get uh, 23 million shares traded. Though. Let's put this on a weekly. So that's, we're going to be finishing a weekly just to see what it looks like. Yeah, you, you, bottom line, you get lighter volume. But guess what? You're just sneaking away from these highs. NDX 100. What do we have at the NDX 100? Bottom line, yesterday you rejected lower price with light volume. Today you're at a higher high with light volume. Tremendously light volume, by the way. Uh, 14 million shares are traded right now. The Qs are up. 81 cents. Let's put this on a weekly. Let's see how that sets up. Okay, so you get a sideways move. You have, we have, on a weekly, it's going to be about the same volume as last week. Last week, we did 147 million. We're at 135 right now. That's light volume, but the bottom line is that, you know, means you still can go higher. We all look at the gold contract. Gold contract's been quite a move, man. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Um, you get 136,000 contracts out here now. You're back inside the range. And for you folks that are into candlestick charting, this, you're going to like this, man. Bottom line is that you have a monster hammer. Now, the way candlestick charting works, folks, is that the larger the hammer, or the larger any of the signals, the more move that you can expect. And this is one monster candle. I haven't seen a candle like this in a long period of time. The low being 1677, the high 1781. Uh, That's what we hit out here today. That says higher prices are coming at us. I suspect what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going after... Uh, 1922. So it's a big number, man. We go take a look at the silver contract. Silver finally caught a bid out here. Silver's up 54 cents. We're trading at 23 dollars and 66 cents. Silver has a lot more work to do, man. <laughs> silver has no doubt a lot more work to do. Now, what does happen because silver is so volatile, uh, it can get back inside this range pretty quick, meaning uh, 25 dollars and 85 cents. That's still two dollars and 20 cents. So it is a big number. There's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the uh, note and bond market. Now, this market here, man, just wants, it's pretty incredible what's, what it's doing out here. So if we take a look at the 
10-year note right now, the bottom line, you're up 16 ticks. Now, that's going to need more volume, but what it already did do is it came down to its breakout area, rejected lower price on tremendously lighter volume. Now we'll see what kind of volume we get on the top side. But this is saying, once again, it's going to go for its highs, which is the 135.14. Right now, you're at 133.30. Uh, when we take a look at the aspect of the actual, whoops, one second, the yield, the yield on this baby, the yield on this baby is 1.27 or 1.29%. 1, so bottom line is that we got some action there. Good old U.S. dollar. What do we have with the dollar out here? What we have with the dollar out here is this. Dollar is down big. You're down 513 ticks. Uh, now, your first level to keep your eye on is going to be where we went topside last week at 92,261. That being said, you know, bottom line, won't take much to get down to the lower end of this, which is 91,765. Uh, if we take a look at the euro, you're going to see everything is moving against the U.S. dollar this morning. We take a look at the euro. The euro went from uh, 117 to 118.05. We take a look at the British pound. British pound out here, uh, 137 to 138. Pound wasn't that much of a move. Um, yeah, well, I guess it rejected the little price. It was a good move. The yen is moving in a monster way, folks. As the yen goes to lower price, that's stronger yen against the U.S. dollar. This yen move, uh, fast, furious. In fact, let me just see if this was intraday again. Yeah, see, this is always cool when this is intraday, man. So what happens is this. This is, this is when gold really starts moving. So the yen start getting stronger when our market's well, a half hour before our market was opening up, okay? So the, 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 bottom, the bottom line is that what you have here is that as you're going into lower price, higher against the U.S. dollar, this yen, no doubt, can get a lot lower. I suspect the next move is going to bring us down to 108, and we'll see if we break 108, then you're going to be into the 107. You get a question out here um, that I'm always stressing volume. And light volume at highs is a, is a very problem. Can you explain further why you're dismissing light volume at the moment? I'm not dismissing light volume uh, up at these highs. Uh, what I have found, though, is, is this, okay? So, so picture this. You can, we have stayed, so this is a great question, by the way, okay? I'm always stressing volume, which I am. I, I do volume and price. What I do is very simple, folks. It really is, okay? Volume, price, Fibonacci sequence, and the, the rest of it. When you're doing this for a while, you know them by heart. Whether it's a candlestick charting, I mean, it's a bar chart. You, you, I know what they all look like. Um, but this is a great question because I, I'm not dismissing it. What I'm saying is that you can stay here and go higher. And what happens is this. The first, the first part of this, when we were doing lighter volume, the NDX100 kept doing ABC structures on the way up. So that gave me the heads up that they want higher price. Now what we've had is that, like yesterday, the, uh, the day before, the diamonds turned around and did an ABC structure on the way up. So it's like, okay, man, you know, I'm not going to shot this market. And then on top of that, where my head is, and this is where, you know, the bottom line is that um, inflation to me is in spades and it's here. So, you know, we'll see where the rest of it sh shakes out. My take is that the lower end of the consolidation is going to get hit. And that low end of the consolidation, we're taking a look at the, at the SPY, right? We're talking about uh, 4233. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. 
Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now is down uh, three. You get the NASDAQ. Uh, oh, the Dow is up one. Dow, NASDAQ's down three. S&Ps are up uh, four and a half. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI. And the deal here, folks, comes down to the... Uh, what we wanted to see is that what the test yesterday was. Because what happens with the XAU and the HUI, they're put together indices, meaning that they actually don't trade them. At the end of the day, they, they accumulate the volume put, put inside them of the holdings, and then you get the deal. So this is what we did. So check it out. This is good, man. Okay, so the first low that was generated out here on Tuesday was $28 million. We tested it yesterday with $21. You, that's, a, that's a good scene, man. That's 25% light of volume. Bottom line, you broke top side again today are up 236. That's inside the XAU. If we take a look at the uh, Gold Bugs Index, the HUI, the way this is set up, I suspect it's going to be the same thing because they like trading together. But let's make sure that we get it just in case because one's always stronger than the other. There's no doubt. Okay, so the Gold Bugs Index did 16 million and that was testing 23. Good scene, man. That's uh, what? That's 18. Oh, that's even better. That's 33% that's light up. You know, so bottom line, they both want to get going. We go take a look at the GDX out here. What we have with the GDX, uh, the test yesterday was on 17 million shares. Now, we do need buyers in the GDX. Right now, you've got 11.5 million. I want to see a lot more than that. Bottom line, we need a lot more than that. Um, you know, we have to test to the bottom, but you need some buyers in here. I don't care whether it's a Friday afternoon or not. Uh, GDX at 32.83. 3387 would be a big deal to get back inside. Now, that's not really the higher range. The higher range, when I look at it, is actually 3479, but uh, at least it's a start out there. Inside of the NDX 100, when we take a look at it, what you have the strength versus the weakness. The strength is eBay, that's up 6.6%. You get uh, AMD up 3.7%. You get uh, uh, Trip.com up 32 and you get Regeneron up 2.7%. Taken away from it, Baidu is down 4.4. You got Pendorado off 3.7. NetEase is off 2.8. Now, if we go over to uh, AMD and take a look at this, this is pretty cool, man, watching how this shakes out. So, so AMD, folks, this was the equity that did a 1 to 2 ABC structure in the way up. And anything more than a 1 to 1.618, most times is a re re immediate change of trend. And I'm back and just show you this, okay? It's pretty cool. So if we take a look at the first trend that started... And the 16th of June, you're going to see there was a $20 move, approximately. We went from uh, June 16th, you're at $78. By the 20, no, by Ju July 6th, you're at uh, 90, 95. So you've got approximately a $20 move. 
The second move is a $40 move. So it was a two to one ABC structure. Uh, we started out at 84, it goes straight up to 122. And then what does it do? Bang. Four days later, it's down to 104. Now, what you had out here today is that you get a bounce. But here, let me show you something here. You get a bounce because of this, because everyone wants to shot AMD now. You're at 7.3%. Uh, on a shot in AMD. Bottom line, what I expect, we're actually going to see in AMD, and this is important to really wrap your head around. It can get a little bit higher. You know, it's going to try to, I think it's going to try to get to the 112.33. We made a 111.70 today, but I suspect it's going to come all the way back to the breakout area, which is 95. That's how it seems to be set up. And that'll be fine. At 95, it pulls back. If it pulls back with light volume, it's going to be not a bad situation. Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials now. The Dow Industrials broke topside, and we had divergence. And what the divergence is, is that you had the diamonds doing an ABC structure on the way up, whereas the indice itself did not have the volume for an ABC structure on the way up. That being said, right now, if we take a look at a weekly basis, what you're going to see here is that you're pulling away from the highs. Uh, the weekly close is 35.091. Well, we're 500 points higher than that. When you do something like that, that's saying, hey, man, you can pull up in a monster way. Uh, so we'll see how this baby shakes out, but that's what I expect you're actually going to see. Now, if we go over to the, the composite, we take a look at the composite. What you're going to see, this is the NASDAQ composite. We put this on a weekly. You're just laying at highs. You're laying at highs with light volume. But we've been up here now, one, two, well, you can say we've been up here a month and a half. That's how this baby's laying out. Let's go to uh, Al in Homo Sasa. Hey, Al, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. Uh, just uh, trying to survive with the uh, gold market. You got to have, uh, uh, go ahead and bear it. I you got to have uh, a stomach of steel, you baby. <laughs> Yeah, I've been in, you know, we've been in it for years. So, um, and uh, this is this is what you look for. I got in at a certain point that I thought was a really good point, but I didn't think it would pull back this strong. But usually, when it pulls back this hard, uh, it it usually jumps the creek. So, um, this might what we might need to have silver break thirty dollars a uh, an ounce. So um, I got another question for you, too. Uh, unlike the equities in that, because you know the uh, you're counting on the gold that's in the ground, in that, and that's what uh, the base price and what they come out with profits. But um, my, my biggest concern is they're counting gold that they don't have. The numbers just don't really add up. To uh, the I, I, I don't that, understand what you're saying, Al. The, what? Tell me what you're saying about gold. What I'm numbers just don't add the up? The ounces don't add up. The gold and the silver ounces that say that they have Who? don't add up. Who? Already pulled out of the ground, then uh, uh, that they uh, say they have that they they're selling futures on. I don't understand who you're saying. Who is the ones that are supposed to have it? Well, I'm saying my like Fort Knox and stuff like that. They won't audit it and stuff like that. I don't think all the gold's in Fort Knox that they're saying that, that they have or uh, out there. I think a lot of futures have been sold on gold that they don't have. Okay, so futures have nothing to do with if, in fact, you know, there's anything in Fort Knox. You know, I suspect that they're, they, they have what they have, you know, because, but anyway, that's, that's a whole different conversation. But... Futures have nothing to do with that. Okay, well, I, I like the gold equities because I know that at least uh, they're counting on what's in the ground. So uh, that puts the value of the so company you and look how at, much profit. Uh, you want to look at Great make. Panther, right? Yeah. Okay, so the low is 47 cents, the high is 116. You're trading at 47 cents right now. Um, you know, this, this needs some, this hasn't been acting right, man, you know, at all. So I'd be really careful, yeah. Al. You know, I know. Yeah, done... they had one. They had one of their minds uh, go ahead and slough off. That they had, and the reason was because they had a lot of rain. Uh, and their their season is opposite from us, uh, weather-wise. 
So uh, yeah, they're they going into their in dry that, season but... compared to the wet season now. Yeah. Well. And it's like, well, it was like one out of their four or five mines that they had the problem with. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I just be careful, man. I mean, the bottom line is that. Well, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, long, I'm a long-term uh, trader anyway. Yeah. So, uh, well, the next quarter just, is supposed to be a big quarter for them. They, they went from 64 million. They expect to do 81 million next quarter. So, bottom line, if they come in with that, yeah, you will see that stock go higher. Technically, though, that thing can go lower before it can go higher. Have a great one, man. Okay, have a safe one. Time. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials off one. NASDAQ is down two. S&Ps are up, up four and a half. We're coming right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFN and hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Uh, we got a good question here, folks. And what it is is this. You know, when I talk about wide price spread, uh, daily bars, well, I talk about a move with conviction. So in a move with a conviction, folks, is wide press, price spread accelerated volume. Um, that's what you're looking for, whether you're going up or down, because they have, they're very cool moves, and most of the time they're telling you basically where you're going to go. So the question here is that if we take a look at July 31st, okay, coffee, well, I'm, we're looking at coffee. Actually, I'm taking a look at the 30th, actually. The 30th, it had wide price spread, accelerated volume on the way down. Now it's trying to get back inside of that. Now it's trying to get back inside of that after the fact, that yesterday you had a good volume day on the way up. The way I'd trade this, okay, is that, I, you know, you're going to 
basically failed to get any price going today. I'd wait till this thing gets down to a buck eighty. Uh, we're at buck eighty-five right now. And the reason I'm saying that is this: is that what you have the way that this thing did trade yesterday? Say it does want to basically try to get into the bar of the downdraft. Um, the reason I'm saying that you wait is that you had a failure in price today. And then what would end up happening as it's going after, if it pulls back, we pull back into the lower end. And if you get a contraction of volume at the lower end, then you get some real action, meaning on the top side. That's how this baby shakes out. Um, you know, moves with conviction, folks, are a big deal. The reason they're a big deal, it's not you and I getting into these equities. That is uh, some monster that's getting into these equities when when you have a move with conviction that's 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 how that uh basically shakes out let's go take a look at uh yeah we got robin hood let's yeah let's go look at robin hood let's see how this baby is shaking out get a brave new world out here so robin hood's up three dollars and 14 cents and you know <laughs> the thing is crazy man is that robin has a high volume high it's going to be back to 85 bucks man and you're at 51 right now so um, I don't have the shot positions on Robin Hood yet, but uh, I suspect that these shot positions will, will pop up. I, don't, I, f I forget whether it takes a week, two weeks, uh, or it'd be longer than that after, uh, after they basically come out with their IPO. So they IPO'd at, uh, where is it? issue information, 38, 38 bucks, and you're at 51 right now. Let's go take a look at SEGO for one of the Tigers. Okay, so this one here, no, I guess it's not SEGO. One second. SEG. What are you doing? SEGO. Maybe. I'm not sure. Some of the higher volume equities out here today. Let's, so let's go to the higher volume equities. And we'll take a look at the higher volume equities. Um, we have, let's see, Advanced Micro's up 397. You got uh, AMC up 27 cents. Apple flat. You got Bank of America down 60 cents. Pfizer's up a buck. Yeah, I'm going to show you something with Pfizer too. U.S. Steel's up 79 cents. Okay, let's go over to Pfizer right now. Let's go. So PFE. Uh, this is going to be important at the end of the month, folks, okay? Uh, Pfizer is breaking out and has broken out of a 20-year, basically, chart. And if we take a look at this, what Pfizer, if you own Pfizer, you want Pfizer to basically at the end of the month close over $47.43. And if it doesn't, you got some serious uh, talking to yourself to do. Because what happens is this, folks. When you have a, a major break like this, and it's a major break, it's a beauty, okay? But if you actually closed underneath it, then that sends it right back all the way to the other end of this, which is $29. So um, right now, it's in great shape. It wants higher price. Uh, another equity that has been a laggard, actually, but is getting acceleration on the way up, finally, is Salesforce. You know, with Salesforce, right now, it's up 337 uh, for a volume, for a market that has light volume, this has volume in it today. We have 5.1 million. You're going into 5.1 million, so it's going to do a little more volume than the last swing high up here, which is which is on July 7th. Um, that is telling me that you know there's a couple articles out here today uh, that there's going to be some deal with Apple, and that you know very well could be the truth. Uh, it's an analyst that's saying this. Okay, so the bottom line is that you know. What ends up happening is that the bottom line analysts, you know, have their own desires uh, when they're following the stock to basically pump it higher. Uh, that being said, the bottom line, 247, 26, okay, 253, rather 50. We hit 253.77. It hit that, and it's hitting it with more volume. Okay, so that's saying that it's going to break topside. And the weekly, last time it was up here in the weekly, it was 20 million shares. We've done 20 point. 1 million shares right now, that is saying that it wants to break top side. So I expect what you're going to see is that it's going to run up to the 284. Right now you're 251. And if, in fact, you know, depending on what the deal is with Apple, um, you know, this, that's what actually put, can push it. 
Uh, when you take a look at their numbers, they got great numbers, man. They're going to do $6.2 billion this year. I know, this quarter. And if you look back five years, they used to do $8.4 billion, folks, a year. Now they're doing $26 billion, okay? So you're talking about a monster number, and you're talking about uh, most of what they take in uh, basically goes right to the bottom line. So, um, you know, the bottom line is that with Salesforce, uh, it was, it's almost like, if you remember, the... Um, when Amazon wasn't moving. Yeah, and Salesforce coming out with their numbers on uh, August 25th. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate it. Um, and then once it does start moving, it goes topside. Now, if we go over to Apple and we take a look at Apple, you know, basically Apple uh, is laying at its highs. Now, Apple, to me, looks like it's going to break its highs. You know, we had monster volume out here yesterday. You're coming into its high. The high is 106 million. So let's do this on the weekly. It's still shot, but see, it hasn't hit the high, man. So the high is 150. We hit 149.44. So if you're bull, you know, you, you want to wait till next week. <laughs> um, because next week, if you get volume, this could, this could go topside. Now, check this out. This is going to be amazing. If, in fact, next week we break the high on Apple, and if it has volume, it's going to be a monster ABC up. 123, well, not that big. That's a 25, 26.8 to B. So you're talking about uh, 167. That's how this baby's set up. So we'll see uh, what the announcement's going to be, if, in fact, there is going to be an announcement. But you can imagine, um, like when, when I read that article, uh, there's an article on Bloomberg today, but it's from an analyst that follows CRM. And it's like, okay, well, there's going to be an announcement. Is it an announcement that, uh, you know, Apple's going to push their product? Is it going to be an announcement that if, if you have certain Apple products, you can use the, their, their software? You know, we'll find out what is. Or is it all the Apple employees that are going to be using CRM? And <laughs> if that's the case, man, that's going to be quite an account because Apple has 100,000 employees, you know. So you're talking big numbers here. That's the real bottom line. And, you know, like anything else, uh, it seems that we go from, a couple stocks each and every week that are keeping us at highs. They get replaced by another couple stocks the next week. They get replaced by another couple stocks the next week. And it is a small amount of stocks that are keeping the market high. That being said, when you actually do put them together, you know, you get 15 stocks that are keeping the market high. And I know that sounds like not a lot, but that's what happens when markets run like we've seen. The Dow right now, uh, is up seven, NASDAQ down three, S&P's up five and a half, come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial's up five. Nasdaq's down two. S&P's up five and a half. Our guest today, folks, is Wayne Aetherholt. Wayne is the Director of Cultural Affairs at the city of St. Petersburg, Florida, and what gets him going, folks, and what gets him out of bed in the morning is that he likes to make St. Pete a better place each and every day. And I can tell you, you know, folks, I've been in St. Pete for 23 years now. I came out of Boston. I watched it happen in Boston, meaning that it takes a huge amount of work to get a city going. And what I've seen more than anything, it takes people like Wayne that have done a huge amount of work that you actually haven't seen in years, and then all of a sudden the whole thing pops. Wayne, welcome to TFNN. You got me? I know. I, I do. You. That's a beautiful thing. Well, listen, man, you've, first off, you've done a great job. And, you know, I've seen, you know, we've all seen, you know, now what St. Pete has become. Um, and we've all seen what St. Pete. You know, St. Pete used to be a dull city, folks, okay? Oh, yeah. But guess what? When I grew up in Boston, it was the same way. So I saw people work on Boston for 30 years to make it better, and I know you've been working on to make St. Pete better for 35 years. So first off, I want to say thank you because you've done an amazing job, and I know people think that it's okay the last five or six years, but this has taken 20, 25 years. So oh, yeah. t tell us exactly, being the director of cultural affairs, what exactly you like to do every day and how you make the city better every day? Well, um, every day trying to hook up people to who can help advance that cause to get together with, with one another, whether it's an artist and an arts organization or two arts organizations or or um, coming helping somebody help execute one of their ideas. It's it's continuing to push and push and push, whether it's from organizations or individuals. And there's always, it, it may be organizations, but there's people and individuals behind those organizations are pushing pushing the envelope and coming up with new ideas. And, and again, y you get a, a, an army of people who are trying to make St. Petersburg a better place and, and you end up with a better place. Um, yes. And you help them, you help them become successful. That's a beautiful thing. It takes a city to make a city, right? Once you get, it, it, you guys yeah. got the fire going, but the bottom line, it takes a city to make a city. So, and it's nice that we've, it's nice that we've now got the city behind this effort. You know, back 35 years ago when I was, you know, an egg. Yes. Um, and um, a young guy at a museum. You know, it was the the, the city was not nearly as cooperative or as interested in in things as as the current administration. And we've we've come a long, long way. I mean, I can remember when you couldn't buy a ham sandwich downtown. Um, it's amazing, right? Let, let, alone, let alone turn around a bus full of uh, you know school kids to go visit a museum. It was, you know, it was a challenge back then. No doubt. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, it, folks, in St. Petersburg, Florida, okay, if you happen to be an artist or you're creative, no matter where you are in the country, come on down and visit us, because I'm telling you, man, the creativity, the artist community down here is not only a great community, but they can, they do very well financially, too, because they have a backup like our, you know, the, the cultural affairs, like Wayne, like the city, like all these different uh, neighborhoods that are in St. Pete. It, it's really cool watching. So I know that you just put together, and this is really a cool little piece, man, 
because, you know, you have granite involved in it. Tell us about that the sculpture that you just put together at the roundabout um, on Central Ave. So, um, so we do public art and, um, you know, we, there was a selection process, so there was a committee that was involved, and, and we fund public art in a number of different ways. This was funded through a tax increment district for the Edge District, which is one of the uh, in-town cultural districts that the city has. We've got probably about seven or so of those various districts that are, are kind of like an arts district. Um, that group got together, and, and they, they meet and discuss, you know, what do they want to spend these these tax dollars on? And is it benches or a roundabout or or whatever that might be? Okay. And this particular group wanted to um, have additional artwork put in, so we formed a committee and and um, the group got together, identified some locations. The roundabout was it. Um, you know, a roundabout is a challenging place for any kind of artwork. Um, group of people from the neighborhood, public arts commission, myself got. Uh, got in, we wrote a call to artists, had a budget through the um, tax increment district, and um, selected an artist who is um, Israeli born, and I believe, I'm trying to remember now, um, I believe he's from Long Island, um, okay. where he's based, um, Elon Averbuch is his name, and so this very large recycled granite piece that's sort of, it's round, so it resembles a, a flower or the sun, and you, of course, go around it, and, and it changes as you drive a, a around it. It's really quite a, an amazing piece. It, it does nod to the... Um, the former industrial um, district that that, na that neighborhood really was. Um, and it also looks forward to the recycled granite and, and the, the Sunshine City and, and all of that. So it's a wonderful piece of artwork. And, it, it you know, you get down Central Avenue, which is the main avenue in St. Petersburg. Yes. Um, and, and you can see the sunrise or set at certain times of the day right through this this round uh, sculpture. It's really quite spectacular. And it's one of many, many pieces that we've um, had installed through the public uh, support and volunteer committee and selections and so forth uh, over the past uh, seven or eight years. You know what's so cool about this piece? So picture this, Wayne. I was coming down there, in, in our office, folks, is literally, well, we're, we're on third, okay, but we're going up and down Central all the time. I'm coming down the other day, and I'm saying, I, oh, I thought that was the rain, so that's cool to understand that I could see that it was different. And I said, oh, it must have rained on that portion of it. So that is really cool, man, because that is yeah. looking different. I can't wait to see how the sun comes through it. What is really yeah. intriguing to me of course, you know, we do a financial talk. We're always talking to public markets. What I love what you've managed to do down here is that this is when you get, you have a, you have a, you have, a, you have private funds, you get public funds that you put together. And on the bigger aspect of it, though, you're giving people a lot of jobs, man. And, and you're, you know, and I've seen the difference in, in, in Boston, what ended up happening is that the artist, it, it, was, it was the same type of deal when the city got going. The artists really got it going. Unfortunately, what ended up happening is that it just got priced out, okay? So the, and so I know I've already seen the difference here. The difference here is that that community is together enough and they can sustain themselves enough. And I think a lot of it has to do with how many different larger things you've put together so that all of us really understand, hey, man, this is a great quality of life issue also. Yeah, it, it's a quality of life issue, and you know who wants to live in a city with no artists um, and, and creativity. That's a fact. So, it, you yeah, know, and we have it all around. You know, we have got over 600 murals in the city that uh, you know, and we started a mural festival. Um, this, those have transformed um, entire neighborhoods and districts. Um, the public art helps transform that, and, and you know, you do get these great big blocks that, that were sat empty for many, many years. Right. You've been here for many years. I have too. You see these big blocks that sat empty for many, many years. And suddenly there's, you know, five story, um, yeah. you know, apartment style buildings there with uh, retail on the ground floor. It's completely transformed districts. And I mean, the artwork has changed that. I, I do think that we're aware of the, the, the gentrification issues and we're working on that and making housing more affordable. We don't want to lose the artists. No, we certainly don't. Well, listen, you've done an outstanding job, man. We really appreciate it. I want to thank you for everyone in the city. I want to thank you for the city. I want to thank you 
for basically getting those artists up and going and making some good bread. Have a great Thanks one. Have a safe one. You, I look Tom, forward to appreciate. having you on again, Wayne. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Stay right there, Sharpening folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, you know, I was talking about Apple. If Apple's and ABC up, would it negate the move down lower into the NASDAQ? Yeah, it sure would. So it really depends when it would happen. There's no doubt about that. Let's go to our man, Eddie, and, and Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on, brother? Hey, my brother, how are you? Great, man. Yourself? Good, good, good. I know the time is short, but I was just wondering, do you think that, that the composite, at least, or the NASDAQ NDX is being is just biding time until NVIDIA's earnings on, I think it's the 18th? It, it just feels like it's waiting for NVIDIA to report. And is it going to break topside if the earnings are good, or or do we go down just on based on NVIDIA? Yeah, yeah. Based on NVIDIA, my take is that would be going lower. I mean, fundamentally, NVIDIA is going to take in a lot more money. They're going to take in a half billion dollars more. That's what they're saying. Uh, right. But what you have here is that you had a great run. Three months ago, we were at 134. Two months ago, you are at 206. You come down hard into this uh, 176. And like today, you're going up with light volume, man. So, you know, that's right. telling me that you get a consolidation that's happening in here, man. You know, that's what it looks like. Gotcha. Gotcha. And, you know, I've, I've, been, I've been looking at a lot of charts. Most of the, a lot of charts are like below the 50 day average or the 200 day average. And if the market's being held up by a certain amount of stocks, a few, a handful of stocks, 
Does that mean when the market pulls back, those other stocks are going to go lower, or have they already done their going down? Oh, that's a great question. This is what happens. Oh, man, this is a great question. So what Thank I've you. seen is this. The stocks that have really got smoked, right, most of the time right. don't go a lot lower, okay? The okay. ones that haven't got smoked that much, that have been down, they'll go lower, though, because they're weaker, and the ones that are high will go lower. But the ones that really got smoked, they, they normally don't. And that happens, listen, that happens in every sector, too. That's, you know, right. yeah, so that's a great question, man, because that takes... Thank you. Yeah, it, it, it's really cool you asked that question. I should have brought that up uh, because over the course of years, I've seen that a, a lot. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Tom, one last request. Yes. Can you go back to your old battle cry that the bull can run you over and the bear can claw your heart out? Okay. I love that. <laughs> Always remember, folks, the bull, can claw, oh, no, the, the bull can run you over, the bear can claw your heart out, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Look forward to speaking right here on Monday morning. Real.